Good morning, everyone. I'm Rainy, and I'd like to welcome you to the American School of Hypnosis live stream. Good morning, everyone. I'm Roluca. <laughs> welcome. Ooh. I think usually there's like a five second lag between us and the time they see that. I think there's a five second lag between me and 20 feet away. <laughs> yeah, usually we have to work that out. <laughs> so we'd like to welcome you to our first town hall meeting. I always like that, that name, town hall meeting. So this is a small town hall. And the purpose of this is to help you folks by answering questions, uh, live questions if you have them. Matter of fact, if you have them, I think I have a little note here, uh, right here. So if you have questions, now's the time to send them in and put them on there, and we're going to answer them. We have quite a few questions from YouTube, Facebook, uh, emails, so we're going to go through some of those as well. And also a reason for this is to help you through coaching if we can. Uh, if you have questions about doing your sessions, questions with maybe some clients, uh, with building your business, expanding your business, that's what we're here for. And no, not just American School of Hypnosis people. We are here to help all hypnotherapists or hypnosis practitioners, as we like to call them, to be successful. Because the whole idea is to enhance hypnosis, make it better as a whole to help as many people as we can. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in. And we have DMC Experiment. Let me see. That was, that was, that's Dana, right? I think I got that right. Yay. You remembered it well. Good morning. So we have uh, Dana here from DMC Experiment. Good to see you. And anyone else that's here, go ahead and let us know who you are, where you're from. I almost said where you are and who you're from. I'm from <laughs> my mother, but that's not what we're here for. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and Dana was here last night. We did a live uh, with the Rainy and Ralu show, which we'll be announcing to all you folks, uh, not yet, probably in about another week or so, and about self-help. And uh, so we actually it was about self-help, and I think we spoke mostly about hypnosis, which is it's funny how it always turns to hypnosis. But, hey, that's just how it is. So if you have questions about uh, hypnosis, about your business, about expanding, go ahead and put them on. And uh, with hoping that we want to do this every Friday morning at 10. So if you have questions even during the week, go ahead and type them in, and we will use them as you know, questions that we can do when, when people aren't speaking live. Okay. Well, there's, well, thank you, Dana. It was very helpful. I got a lot out of it. So thank you. You're very welcome. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll start out slow with some of these questions here. And uh, let's see. Where's the first one? Okay. From Ika, Ikarina. Remember Ikarina? How strong is self-hypnosis? Is it different from every person, before every person? How strong is self-hypnosis? Is it different for every person? Well, Luca, I'm going to pick on you. I'll let you answer the first question. Da, da, da. Self-hypnosis is actually very strong, very, very strong, uh, especially if you do repeated uh, auto-suggestions every day. Uh, it could literally change your life for the better. Whatever you want to uh, change in your life, most definitely with self self hypnosis will. Um, so yeah, it's very strong. Okay, and is it different from every person? Well, yeah, hypnosis is different. The thing is about hypnosis; it's not the same for anyone. There's no right or wrong. A lot of people don't realize hypnosis is simply being open to suggestion. Okay, so how are you when you're open to suggestion? Right now, if you're accepting what I'm saying, you're open to suggestion. Some of you are paying attention. Some of you are probably eating breakfast while listening. Some of you are probably talking to someone else. So it's different. In hypnosis, You, some people might hear every word I say. 
excuse me, some people might, uh, like when Luca hypnotizes me, she says, you know, close your eyes, take a deep breath. And then the next thing I remember is on the count of three, open your eyes. I missed half an hour of it. But the subconscious mind always picks up everything all the time. So I was there. I heard it subconsciously, just consciously. I, I did not that I didn't want to hear it, <laughs> but if I'm not listening, I'm not resisting. But some people come in and out. They hear some words. They don't hear some words. So there's really no right or wrong. Uh, but if, like, if two people want to change something, let's say two people have the same goal and they want to change something and they want to do self-hypnosis, uh, well, depending on their past programming, because that's very important, might differ a little bit. But the suggestions, if you, if you keep getting the same suggestions, a lot of suggestions, because it's self-hypnosis every day, then um, probably make can make the change just the same. But, you know, some people could be what? They could be resistant to it sometimes. Um, you know, isn't that right, Rainy? They could, they could resist it sometimes. So it depends a little bit of their past programming and how strong that is. Might take longer with some people to change. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, some people are resistant. Yeah. However, you're not going to get most of those coming to see you in a session. I mean, if you're hypnotizing your brother, your sister, yeah. your mother for free, you're going to ah, go ahead and hypnotize me. I'll practice with you, but it won't work. Okay, they're resistant. But if you're coming to see me and I'm charging you $250 an hour, you're not going to yeah. <laughs> Like, why would you fight me? Just tear up the money and throw it away. Uh, good, good. Oh, look at this right here. Right away, we're starting to get them. I have a question. I just started out. Do you think it's better to be available for two to three days to start and fill those up before, say, five days a week? Good question. And I'm going to answer that question with a couple of questions. Um, number one, are you doing this uh, full time, first of all? And Ruth, I'm getting feedback from your side. I don't know. Yeah. So it, it all depends. Are you doing this full time? Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here so Raluca can go ahead and take care. I think one of the doors is open over there. So if you're doing it full time, uh, five days a week is okay, but you're probably not going to have all five days a week filled. If you're doing it part time because you have another job, and I think when we spoke last night, you mentioned something about that. Uh, personally, if I'm starting a new business, matter of fact, we just did a video on this. When should I quit my old job? So go look at one of our previous videos. So when should I quit my present job to do this full time? And I address this exact same thing, which is, oops, there we go. I address this exact uh, situation where if you can fill one day or two days with appointments, okay, you're probably going to be making more money in that two days than you are in your full-time job. Okay, that's just the way it works because, I mean, at, well, we charge $250 now, but even when we're, you're, when you're charging $150 an hour, you know, uh, $150 an hour, uh, I don't know how many sessions, uh, three, four sessions is $600, so two days is $1,200, $1,200 a week. That's nice. A lot of people don't get that, okay? Now, if you do five sessions a day, okay, that's even more. Uh, so if you could fill up two days and you're making more than your present job, then you might want to consider, you know, do I want to swap over now? Uh, also, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to bring Raluca back here because she might want to add into it. So that's if you're working, uh, two days a week, but if you have a full-time job and you can't, you still have, you know, full-time job, sometimes at 12 hour days. So if you have three days, fill up the three days. Now you're making a lot more. Uh, so really, I like to have my days full. I don't want to, you know, especially if I'm going to an office. If I'm going to an office, I don't want to have five days a week and I'm only going in, let's say, one, you know, eight o'clock in the morning and one o'clock in the afternoon. So you just tell people if you have a schedule, you know, I have Monday and Wednesday open. If those are the days you're going to work, I have appointments Monday and Wednesday. When would you like to see me? Oh, well, I got to do it Tuesday. I'm sorry. We're only doing open Monday and Wednesday for sessions. Uh, if you have to do it on Wednesday, schedule it for a month, two months down the road. They go, oh, well, I'll kind of do it now. If you're doing it at home, now that's different. You can schedule it, you know, anytime during the five days because if you don't mind picking up the phone or getting up in front of your computer, you know, I mean, you're not wasting the whole day, you know, sitting in an office because someone's going to come in. 
But in an office, yeah, I'd try to fill up a couple of days before I expand. Uh, just like if you decide some people do it on weekends. Back in my back in my early days, uh, I would come in sometimes on Saturday. Not again, okay? I come in on Saturday because back then I, I had I had hypnotized a trucker to quit smoking, and he got the word around to other truckers that I did a good job. And it seemed like every Saturday I had a line of 18 wheelers outside. The truckers talk a lot and they were coming in for smoking. But once that kind of wore out and I, you know, just doing normal people on a Saturday, I might have five appointments scheduled and maybe three would cancel. So I wasted my whole Saturday. I've even had five appointments scheduled once and five canceled, which is why I take down payments now. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, uh, take a nickel deposit or something. Uh, you know, so I don't want to waste my Saturday because that's my family day. So let's see what else. Chat next question here. I said I actually created a PowerPoint presentation on self hypnosis, and I'll be presenting it for the first time at the end of the month. Great, 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 great. So do you have anything to extra to extra to add extra <laughs> to that? No, I agree with what you said, Randy. When I had my office in Santa City, Philly, for example, I would, I would, uh, I wouldn't want to go there every single day of the week because I had other business going on in North Philly with the school. So my sessions were Monday, Wednesday, and sometimes I would do Friday. But Monday and Wednesday was it. Like you choose your day, and once I filled that up, then I would spill over into Friday. But yeah. You have to, especially in the beginning, you have to choose a couple of days when you can, especially when you do, when you try to get into a new business. If you already work, it's really smart to kind of work your way up to like every day if you want to do this like super full time. So just pick a day or two, do sessions, then move on to a third day if you have to. But it was a long trip to go from North Philly to Santa City, Philly. So I had to do that because I couldn't just go Tuesday for one person. Sometimes they would cancel. So it would throw off all my schedule. So I would choose two days. And it usually worked out. Like people are serious about getting their habits under control and change. They'll make time. Just kind of like when the, doctor, or the doctor's office calls you and says, we have appointments on this day and this day at this hour. What do you do? You try to make it work around so you can make the appointment. And yeah. So that's what I did. And it's a good idea. It also makes you look like you're super busy. Yeah. <laughs> can I see you Wednesday? Oh, you can see me anytime. <laughs> you know, but can I see you Wednesday? No, I'm booked on Wednesday. No, but if yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. have it, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it does a habit for yourself and your business. So you know yeah. what you're doing, and uh, you're in control of it from the beginning. Great. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And just one more question. What is the most important piece of advertising to focus on initially to build a client base? Hmm. The most important piece of advertising. Okay, uh, Again, Dana, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to answer your question with a question. Uh, are you talking about online appointments mm -hmm. or in-person appointments? That's two different kinds of advertising. So uh, you said you're, you're opening an office. Is it just going to be in person or are you doing online as well? Now, I know there's a delay, so I'm waiting for the answer. She's right about now. She's hearing it. And right about now, or he is, is Dana, is, is that a, a male or female? I'd never asked that. Dana yet, man. It could go, it could be the one. But, anyways, uh, oh, and how's it now they're typing? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we'll set up. I'm offering both in person and online. Let's okay. set up for Zoom. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now that we know that, da, da, da. online for us, uh, Again, depending if you want to pay or not, but we do a lot with YouTube. Uh, YouTube ads is great. Uh, now there's this new thing called uh, shorts. We look is a lot more into this, but they have shorts. There's things on Instagram. So you want to get you know your, your, your I guess, video out there because a picture is worth a thousand words. 
uh, as much as possible, okay? And, okay, Dana, female, okay. So I didn't know. So, so see, depending on, I, I, I keep on saying her and he and uh, I get it all mixed up. It's all nobody. All right, so online I use Zoom. Um, now I should cover my microphone when I see this. I say this. Facebook has never really worked that much for me in advertising. So, uh, but Facebook's wonderful for all those. <laughs> oh, come on. It doesn't, we did a lot of paid ads. We paid for a lot We're of We're streaming on Facebook right now on two different Facebook yeah. pages. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but we, we still do a lot of advertising, but I haven't got nearly as much return from Facebook as I have YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, we do a lot of paid advertising as well through, through YouTube. Uh, what do they call that? Ad AdWords or is it AdSense something? Like that? AdWords. Uh, AdSense, uh, AdWords. Yeah, Google yeah. AdWords. And uh, so you basically you bid for how much you want to spend on each click when people click on you, and you have a video talking about it. Yeah. So basically, you can create a uh, a video data uh, about you and your business and what you do, and do a paid ad with Google. It's one of the biggest search engines in the world. Um, most people are on it. In fact, every time we do a class, we ask people, how how did you find out about us? And 99% of the time is through Google and YouTube searches. Yeah, um, good. Mm -hmm. Another, another yeah. good question. So do you mean put up vid videos about yourself on YouTube, advertising your services? Yeah, but you could take that video and actually promote it by doing paid ads. Right. With also, it. testimonials. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you're hypnotizing clients already. Hypnotize a client uh, if they, you know, if they really enjoyed it. Ask them if you, you know, just get the camera going. Can I ask you a few questions? Even online, it's actually easier online if you just did a a Zoom appointment. Just record it because uh, Zoom is a little button that where you, know, you can record. And I would suggest doing that anyways when you're doing a session, just so you have a record of it. Uh, record it and ask them if you can uh, interview them. You might even interview them and ask if you could put a little bit of the hypnosis session, not the personal part, but maybe a picture of them with their eyes closed. And when they open their eyes and they say, whoa, that was great, you know, something like that there. And then they talk about what they experienced. Uh, but you don't want to put the personal stuff, you know. Uh, but, but think of it. People, they come on camera and they see a YouTube video, uh, a hypnosis session of John, you know, response. And they see him closing his eyes as you go close your eyes, take a deep breath, and open your eyes. One, two, three. How do you feel? And he's going, oh, great, relaxing. And then you ask him a few questions. It could be like a clip in a separate video, and but all in one thing there. So, uh, yeah, those are good. Testimonials are great. We do testimonials from my school quite often. After On the last day of class, I go around and tell people, what do you think about it? And especially when they're right in class, they just graduating, they're mm -hmm. loving it. <clears throat> high and uh, you get some wonderful uh, testimonials. Uh, video testimonials work best. Uh, other than that, uh, picture testimonials are second best. And then just text ones. You see people on their web page because you put these testimonials on YouTube, the video ones, but also put them on your web page. So people can go down your web page and find out what people are saying. You know, you can actually embed them right in your page. Uh, if you can, if the person will allow you to put their name, that works better too. So here's a video, and underneath it says, you know, uh, Dana, whoever, Cincinnati. You know, the, now you're looking real, you know, and John from whatever Egypt, if you're doing them online, we have people from Africa, from uh, all over the world, China, Russia, all over. And it's neat to have their city or country underneath it. So people, whoa, that person is near me. Oh, she hypnotizes people in Spain? Wow, you know. Uh, now, don't just put two testimonials on your page, okay? You have one testimonial, people think, ah, it's her, it's her mother. You put two testimonials, it's her mother and her brother. You put 15 testimonials, wow. They'll read like three of them and stop and look at you as the professional. Okay, so more is better. Now, don't put 100 of them, you know, but... Uh, 15, 20 is, is great if you have them, you know. Uh, try to put your best ones at the top, you know. If somebody says, oh, I did the session, that stunk. Don't put that on. <laughs> but testimonials are great. Um, other than that, I think for in-person, if I wasn't doing online, the best advertising we've ever done, like when she was in Philly and I was in 
uh, Ben Salem, uh, was newspaper. Newspaper block ads is probably the best thing. Now, right now Google has a section that's called Google Business for Local, kind of like when you go and look for restaurants and you see restaurants in your area. You go Google Business and put your information over there and set up your yourself as a local business. So if people look for hypnosis uh, office in my area, boom, you're going to pop up. It's a really good form of putting your business name out there for the local. Something else, Dana, since you're just starting. Uh, take a look at our association, member association. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, AIA Hypnosis. So just go to that AIAhypnosis.com. And that's uh, the association is what we've created to help practitioners to be successful in business and to grow their business. So our school teaches you how to do hypnosis. The association teaches you how to grow a business and extend it. And it's open to anyone. Anyone can join. Uh, it's one of those things. It's a men uh, monthly membership. So you go in, it's $20 a month, but you stay as long as you like or as short as you like. But in there, we have a lot of information on marketing, on getting leads. Matter of fact, we got a section with 50 ways of uh trying to uh, 50 ways of marketing 50 another one with 50 ways of getting clients uh so there's a lot of ideas we have uh, a five-part video series on some of my best advertising techniques when i open a business uh so there's an awful lot of information in there including additional courses uh, small mini courses so you could expand into smoke me and a smoking specialist past life regression this kind of stuff there the script manuals, scripts, and sessions, all kinds of stuff. But like I said, it's a very low price. But for expanding your business, it's something that I think is probably the most valuable thing that we've built. Basically, thousand dollars, you know, thousands of dollars worth of information all together for twenty bucks a month. So you might want to look into something like that. With our graduates, they actually get a one year's membership to that for free as a benefit, uh, because I think it's so important that they go right to that. And now you hit the ground running and you know how to get the you know clients in and keep them coming. And if you get bored, you know, because you're not getting enough clients, it shows you how to expand, you know, into the passive income areas. Uh, if you want to do books or MP3s or CDs, they still do CDs. No, I don't. <laughs> nope. the age. You know, I was looking for some sound effects uh, a couple of days ago and I actually uh, called a friend of mine who's a talent agent from before I got into hypnosis, I was in the entertainment field and uh, he was one of my agents. And uh, so I, I called him because I know he does impersonations. I said, Dick, do you have uh, any sound effects that I can use from you? So he called me up later that night. Oh, goes, yeah, Rainy, I got sound effects for you. Do you have a cassette tape? <laughs> Uh, no, 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 Dick is like, you know, late 70s, early 80s, but he's still doing some entertainment. Do you have a cassette take? I go, I got an eight track player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eight track player for you, for you young people is like an iPod. <laughs> but it's that thick. It's like, it's like putting duct tape in the car. <laughs> and he was also doing the sound effects. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I needed some sound effects for my business. And um, I didn't have any. So I decided to record my <laughs> my own. <laughs> and he started oh doing the sound effects. He said, here's a horse running. <laughs> but it sounded like you could hear the, I don't know how he did that. I guess kind of like Michael Jackson used to do the beatbox with his mouth. And uh, so he was doing that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool. After the conversation was over, I, I said to Rennie, I said, that I felt like we were watching an episode of Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to tell a story. Okay, Raluca, <laughs> I've never heard of Monty Python. For those of you that are watching, mm -hmm. You know, she's from uh, Romania and uh, she's very much into uh, movies like Merlin. And what was the one we watched? Another one last night with Kings and Queen Elizabeth and all these. So one day I says, Ruluca, I says, tonight, I says, I want to show you a, a new series. I says, called Monty Python. It's a very serious, you know, kind of like Knights in Shining Armor and, you know, uh, 
the round table and the Knights of, you know, Camelot and all this. And she's like, oh, okay. So, so for those of you that haven't seen it, it's, it's just an obnoxious comedy uh, with really stupid stuff. Sorry, Monty Python, but that's what it's. So she's sitting down getting all excited to watch this movie. And of course, the first thing you see is, you know, the, the king and his men running on horses and somebody's making that sound, you know, you know with the, like the horse clapping and they're running on these, you know, like this with the, the hands and there's no horses that make him believe. And Ruluk is like, at first you wouldn't say anything, afraid not to insult me. And she's like, finally, what is this? <laughs> yeah, well, they were making the horse noises with some coconut shells. Coconut. And I was like, wow. I was thinking, this movie's got to be very low budget. <laughs> like, what is the so she wouldn't watch any more of it. She made yeah. me turn it off. But Okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we got over here. All right, any more questions? Yep. Lay it down, Peter, guys. We're here to answer your questions. How? Uh, oh, I think we already covered that, Peter. How does one feel in the hypnotic state? So, how does one feel in the hypnotic state? Well, mm -hmm. you might feel a, a, a heaviness or a lightness, and this is something that we tell our clients before they go in hypnosis. You might feel a heaviness, like you're sinking into the chair and part of it. You might feel a lightness, like you're floating above the chair, you know. Uh, matter of fact, I had one lady in the middle of a session open her eyes and go, out of body experience, out of body. I said, no, 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 you're not out of your body. She was just feeling the lightness. I said, don't worry. If you come out, I'll put you back in. <laughs> you know, she kind of chuckled. Uh, but anyways, uh, you feel a lightness or you feel a heaviness. You might think, feel a tingling sensation. You ever felt mm -hmm. that? Pins and needles type feeling in your fingertips or your arms. Uh, sometimes you feel a dead weight. There's some part of one of the sessions I do. Uh, I actually do a test to see how deep you are, how relaxed you are in hypnosis by having you lift your right hand. And I tell these a person is a magnet and they'll feel their hand going up higher and higher and the hand goes up like this while they're in hypnosis. But sometimes uh, I'll even tell them, go ahead and lift your right hand. They'll go, I can't. I can't. Because it's so relaxed that they got that dead weight where you, if you ever picked up a kid's hand when he's really dead asleep, you lift it up and boom, it's like a rock. So sometimes they feel that. Okay, and all that is you've entered the, del the delta brainwave state. Delta is the deepest of the four basic brainwave states where your body has that dead weight. It's like boom. It's just your, you know, we, we, I notice that sometimes when my cat's sleeping really heavy, it weighs like twice as much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you might feel that sometimes the eyelids will flicker and that feels funny because that's called re uh, REM, rapid eye movement. Usually mm -hmm. you experience REM when you're sleeping, so you don't notice it. <clears throat> but in hypnosis, you're awake and you'll feel this funny sensation because you still go through the same stages, but being awake and you'll feel that REM and it's completely natural. So, uh, I don't know. Can you think of any other? Those are the major ones. No, those are the pretty much the only ones the the major ones um it's kind of like uh and sometimes you know i don't know if you uh, you guys have ever heard about the word hypnagogic state right it's that state between sleep and awakefulness kind of like when you go to bed and you kind of titter totter you're almost asleep but you're not quite asleep that's where you want to that's where you want to be one of the most suggestible states i don't know if you realize from reading a lot of self-help books myself i kind of like to do that a lot uh, a lot of people say for example uh silva okay the silva method he is absolutely 100 percent saying in his books how that is one of the most hypnotizable state that's when you uh, that's why when you go to bed you should think positive stuff that you want to accomplish he gives up quite a few uh, scenarios on how to do that because that's super powerful for you to do self hypnosis and things that, like that to um, get better. It's called the hypnagogic state, that moment between just before you fall asleep. Great. And let's see. Oops, uh, I just got off the comments here for a second. And Dana found our webpage, AIA Hypnosis. She goes, how could I get involved in learning that? Go all the way to the bottom of the page, and it shows you how to, how to register. And uh, you register, sign up for it, and within minutes, you're on the page going through it all. <laughs> That's how easy it is. 
Let's see. Uh, I have an email question, Rini. Go ahead. Uh, somebody said that they took the home study course and uh, wants to uh, wonder, wondering if they could still come to the live class coming up. And Good, um, point. Good point. The answer to that is yes. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have one of them that's uh, that signed up for that a couple days ago. And yesterday, someone else asked me that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, one of the uh, advantages that we have with the class, that we, benefits that we give people is, well, first of all, if you attend the live class, you can, and for those of you watching, if you attended our live class, the six day or the eight day in the past hypnosis certification class, you can re-attend it if you like. As long as you remain a member of the AIA, you can re-attend it again if you want for free. We just ask that you have your own manual, okay? So you could re-attend it because some people want the extra hours. So this way they can just keep on coming for free and get the extra hours and more training. And for people who took the home study course, okay? So if you took the course, it's a, basically the same as the live course, but you're doing it at home and you got to practice on your own. Uh, a lot of people take the home study course and they go, you know, you know how some people buy a course and they put it on the shelf and they just never get to it because some mm -hmm. people be guided through it. <laughs> but they go, wow, I wish I took the six day course because after six days I'd be certified to making money, you know. So for them, if you bought the home study course, OK, and you, you say, oh, gee, I really want to finish this, but you're not doing it. You don't have the gumption. Then you can sign up for the live course and everything you paid for the home study course, we actually Put it Deduct that. Yeah. yeah. So this way you're not out anything. Okay. So whatever you paid for, and I say, I, I say whatever you paid, because sometimes people get it on sale. Sometimes they might've bought it, you know, uh, six months ago when it was a different price, you know? Uh, so whatever you paid for it, we will put that towards your uh, full tuition. So that way you're not, you weren't out anything for trying. Yeah. Towards the live class tuition. Yeah. So if you pay three ninety nine or five four ninety nine. We'll take that out when you pay the the balance. Mm -hmm. Good question. Okay, what else? Here's a funny one. I've been telling everybody, oh, we got some new programs, Ruluk and I, so we can do things like this and like this and like, you know, all kinds of fun stuff like <laughs> that. I push her out completely. And uh, I got a question here from Royce. This is through YouTube, I think it was. He goes, what new software slash hardware are you using? <laughs> what are we using? Well, it's actually called StreamYard, okay? Uh, when we do our live training, we still use Zoom because Zoom, we can have as many. We can have up to uh, over 100 different people in our little screens. Uh, but with StreamYard, StreamYard, as you can see right now, StreamYard streams in 1080p. Again, it depends on the internet, how busy it is sometimes. You know, Friday or Saturday night when it's really busy, kind of gets a little fuzzy. But whereas Zoom, you're, you're lucky to get maybe 360 to 4, was it, 480p? Uh, yeah, maybe 720, but it's not really good HD quality. For, you can't get that yeah, for the free version, you free. don't really get yeah. that. But uh, with uh, StreamYard, you're actually getting the 1080, full 1080p. Uh, so it's a lot clearer, especially if you want to use these for other different things. Uh, and see, besides that, uh, Reluca got me a thing called Stream Deck. That's another piece of hardware. He said so hardware software. I don't know if I can actually uh, pick it up and show it to you. Do, do, do. Okay, the wire is kind of small. She got me this little thing called, oops, <laughs> there it is. I got to go sideways because my cord's not strong enough. It's called the Stream Deck. And these different buttons, I hit on like this one right over here. When I hit that, I go online immediately. I hit this one, better not, but that makes me hang up. And it has 15 buttons, so I can click on it to put on commercials, to transition from, let me put that back down here without. Randy likes his toys. <laughs> The transition from this to this to this to this, you know. So you can do all that at a point of a button rather than hitting Control C and Control D. Uh, as I uh, as I get working with it more, because he just got it for me a few days ago, uh, I'll be able to put sound effects on it. I'll be able to put transitions. I'll be able to, and it works with StreamYard, and it works with Zoom, 
And it works with OBS Studio, which is another program I use, is OBS Studio. Uh, now, that's online broadcasting system, I think. But if you punch in OBS, you'll find it online. It's a free program, and it's like a professional quality uh, studio where you can put all kinds of stuff. Um, most of my videos, before I got StreamYard, actually all my videos were done on in OBS. Uh, so those are all really good programs. OBS is free. Stream Deck, of course, you got to pay for. And uh, now it only has 15 buttons, but you can hit one button that takes you to another set of 15 and click on another. So it's unlimited how many layers you can do, kind of like Shrek, you know, layers. You know, life is like an onion. But anyways, uh, so you can do quite a bit with it, and you can use it for pretty much anything that we, you would use the different, uh, what do you call those, hotkeys? Hotkeys on your computer, you know, control this, control that to do different things. You can program this thing. So instead of hitting all those buttons, you can just click on it and you can put a little picture on each one so you know exactly what it is. So uh, StreamYard, Stream Deck, and OBS. And what else do I use? Uh, well, that's not a new program, but we use Camtasia for doing our editing and creating the videos afterwards. Uh, which is nice thing about going live. When you're doing live, you don't have to do editing. I mean, you make mistakes. Sometimes I, I get tongue-tied and, uh, you know, what do you call a word salad and mess up with your words. But, hey, that's the beauty of live. People get to see you make mistakes, you know. Uh, spill your coffee on you. No, actually, I wouldn't do that. That's very important. Uh, so that's, that's the beauty of that. Let's see. We just got... Sunil, hello. He, where are you calling us? He from? says good evening, all of you. So, so I, that's why I say where are you calling? Because it's uh, ten thirty in the morning here. So Sunil is probably not in the United States. <laughs> okay. Probably you somewhere in Europe, maybe. Well, wherever you are seeing us from, and if you're up in the middle of the night, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's see. What else do we have for questions? And uh, like I said before, folks, if you have questions, go ahead and put them in. Matter of fact, it's just, just what I said. Uh, the whole idea of this town hall meeting is to answer your questions. So if you have questions, type them in. If we have time, we'll get to them. If not, we'll do it the next time because this is something that we're going to be doing every Friday at 10 in the morning. Okay. Let's see. I think we've got a time for we got enough time for one more, maybe a couple more. Uh, oh, I have all the. I, that's it. All the questions. I've, okay, I have one here. Uh, not a lot of questions in the Ga email. Gala, Gala asks, "What if a person did not quit smoking after a group hypnosis session?" Da da da. Well, if they didn't quit smoking after a group hypnosis session, I guess they're going to continue smoking. But that's not yeah. what you're getting at. <laughs> okay. That's not what the question was supposed to be. So what if they didn't quit smoking after a hypnosis, uh, after a group hypnosis session? Well, groups are wonderful because group session takes even less time than an individual session because you don't have to do the personal testing because everyone's different. You just do the group. Instead of a five-part session that we teach in our classes, you only need to do, we cut one out, it's actually a four-part session. Oh, I should, no, I just call it that. It's only, it's because one of the middle parts is, yeah, one of the middle parts is that you're taking out the test. So it's only, a, so it's a little bit quicker and you're, you might be hypnotizing 20, 50, 100 people. So it's a lot more lucrative. But since when you do a group session, you can only do one way versus an individual session, I test you to see how your mind works and I tailor it to you. They're not as effective as an individual session. In an individual session, there's really no one I can't hypnotize because I'm testing them, finding out how their mind works and tailoring it to them. So in a group, groups are usually tailored towards the non-analytical side of the scale. So most analytical people, they probably won't enjoy it much because it's too relaxing and analytical people don't like the relaxing. They need to be kept busy. So in that case, I usually tell the analytical people for those, because I'll test them sometimes before the session so they know who they are. I have them all stand up. For you people, the tough nuts, as I call them, because they like to be called that, I'll say you can have this just as effective for you if you choose to relax 
and do not resist because they tend to resist a little more. So if you can accept it and resist it, it's going to work just as well. But unfortunately, a group session does isn't as effective for that reason. So what do you do? Well, it's a luck of a draw, okay? If they, if they weren't hematized, what I do in my groups is I test them first so people know who's analytical and who's not, you know, with the finger test or the arm test, and that's some of the things we show. That the analytical people, I say, if it doesn't work for you, come and see me and schedule an individual session afterwards, and I'll only charge you the difference in what we paid here, what you paid here, and what our individual session is, and I can tailor the session to you, your mindset, and it, you will be effective. So that's pretty much all you can do. You can give them that offer. If for any reason you don't go under now, or you don't uh, no, go under, I hate that word. If for any reason uh, you don't quit smoking because maybe it just didn't fit with you for some reason, come see us and we'll hypnotize you individually for it, okay? Now, there are some people, uh, we have people that go around the country doing group sessions. That's all they do is go from location to location doing group smoking. And they give a guarantee. We guarantee group hypnosis for smoking. We guarantee it. Now, you can't guarantee the mind. What they're guaranteeing is if you don't quit smoking, the next time we come around to your city, which will probably be next year, you can come back to the session for free. And bring a friend. You see what I mean? So that way they, they're getting bigger audiences. But you can't guarantee an individual or a group one. But individual sessions are a lot more, uh, a lot, almost a lot more better, uh, are a lot more effective. And Sunil is from India. Okay, that's why it's probably dark over there. Good evening. It says it's 9 o'clock, in the uh, 9 p.m. That's past my bed. So, no, what are you doing watching me at 9 o'clock at night? <laughs> I mean, you probably don't need your beauty sleep like I do. But uh, there we go. He, he doesn't have his picture here. So, <laughs> oh, no, that's DMC. Let's see. Sunil, from, where, I, I keep on going to click on him and his picture fades away. Yeah, look at him. So handsome. He doesn't need his beauty sleep. Okay, you can stay up to the wall. <laughs> you have my permission. Okay. And let's see. Sunil so says, uh, oops. I wanted to go to this one. How do you test for analytical mind? How do you test for analytical mind? Funny you should ask. Okay. <laughs> How do you test for analytical mind? The analytical mind is a mindset that doesn't like to relax. Okay. You would do suggestibility tests. And if you don't know what a suggestibility test is, I'll give you a commercial. Go to one of the links below this video and you're going to see a link to our free hypnosis manual, okay? So you go to the free hypnosis manual and go to the section on on uh, suggestibility test and you'll see two or three of them. All you have to do is read that to somebody, try it with your family, and uh, you'll tell as a result of that whether they're analytical or non-analytical and you can uh, deal with them accordingly. Let's see. And that's right below. It's a 446-page manual. It's the actual manual that we use in uh, in class. Let's see how many sessions. How many sessions a person need to change a bad habit? Good question. Well, um, most sessions that we do, we do a minimum of four sessions. And again, the manual will explain that. We have a section called the uh, Habit Replacement Program. The whole chapter mm -hmm. is devoted to that. And uh, it takes a minimum of 21 days to create a change, okay, to, to create a habit in the mind. So 21 days for change, now I say minimum, so 30 days better. So what we do is have them come see us four times, you know, once a week, and give them a little follow-up to listen to uh, during the week between. And uh, it's kind of, you know, by having constant repetition, positive suggestions each and every day, they're creating a habit. So most habits, it takes at least 30 days. Now, if you're doing self-hypnosis, how long do you do it? You do it until it takes, until it happens. You want something to happen, you know positive suggestion will change it. You might be more resistant than the average bear, so you just go a little longer. You do it until it happens, because why quit? If you want to change a habit, why stop? I mean, you're almost there. You know, uh, there's a Napoleon Hill that has a story, uh, three feet from gold. 
people wait. They're doing their mining. They break in uh, in the in the uh, the solid rock wall there in the tunnel, trying to pick the fine gold, and they stop this far from it. And another guy comes, hits it once. Whoa, gold! You know. So yeah, just keep on going, keep on going. The chapter on persistence. You have to do it until the new habit is formed. But yeah, minimum. And let's see. I have one <clears throat> last question. Thanks. Oops. So no, I'm leaving them on the screen. Okay. One last question from Stephen Rowe. He's from our Facebook group. And for those of you, again, if you want to chat during the week, speak to other people, uh, you know, interesting people in the field, we do have a free hypnosis group that you can join. Matter of fact, the easiest way to find that, if you're not part of it already, is to just punch this in in a Google search engine. AIA Hypnosis Experts Membership, okay? And you're going to be part of our hypnosis uh, Facebook group. And people get in there and ask questions and get to know each other and things like that. So it's a, it's a fun thing to do. You can do that if you like. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Luca. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Steven says, uh, sorry, I've been out of the loop for a while. Are you still doing the live videos? Okay, you must have been out of the loop for a, quite a while. <laughs> uh, I'm off on Mondays now, and I've had, uh, and my wife has had kidney a kidney transplant. Sorry to hear that. I hope she's doing great. Uh, so for the last co couple months, I've been extremely busy. So what days are the live videos? If you're still doing them, da, 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 funny you should ask. Um, well, this one here, which is our, our, our where is the? Uh, I have advertisements I'm always trying to put on, but over here, this one here, which is our hypnosis town hall meeting is going to be live every Friday at 10 and every Tuesday we come on as well. And uh, for, for basically we teach different bits of content every Tuesday. Uh, and sometimes we're on just throughout the week, just cause we want to be. Uh, so sometimes we'll throw in extra ones, but it's usually every Tuesday and Friday at 10 o'clock, uh, Friday, we're always live Tuesday. Sometimes we do a pre-recorded one, but those are the times you can get a hold of us. I would suggest that you click on the subscribe button, uh, below the video or on our YouTube, cause some, I know some of you on Facebook, some of you are on uh, LinkedIn and so different places. But with. guys, if you hit subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that bell, that bell will notify you every single time that you post somebody posts a video and every single time somebody comes out live. It will literally notify you on the on your phone, on your device that uh, the per the particular person you're subscribed on is um, going live and also um if if you um see that we, we sometimes schedule the meeting in advance like the day before and then you can go and hit set reminder or right there uh, underneath the video uh, under your subscription tab on youtube and then you'll get notified actually sometimes even 10 minutes before the live starts so um, there's various ways for you to keep in touch, to stay in touch with, uh, with YouTube, um, because that's where we come live. So, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. That's the reason to hit the bell. So you it makes a really cool sound. Go ahead and try it right now. Okay. See the, the bell is right down over there. You click on it and you get that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't hit it with your head. Cause then you'll say, I don't know who he is, but his face rings a bell. But I'm <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Sunil also asked, uh, how many days mm -hmm. should be between two sessions? Normally, when I do sessions, I go a week apart, but they need to have a filler or a reminder each day for, like I said, that 30 days. Look at that chapter on the uh, 30 day uh, program in the book, and it'll explain everything about it to you. Uh, Dana, like my face rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that story? It's, it's a long joke about this guy that wanted a job and he wanted to ring a, a church bell and he ran fast and he hit the bell with his face and fell out of the belfry on the ground below. And they're all everybody runs to the guy, he's on the ground, and they go, Who is he? 
And the priest comes running up that, you know, that runs a church. He goes, I don't know, but his face rings a bell. <laughs> and a week later, his brother tried out for the same job. And the same thing happened to him. Hits the bell, bang, with his face, hits the ground. And everybody runs up. And who is he? And the priest says, I don't know, but he's a dead ringer for his brother. <laughs> dead <laughs> ringer. <laughs> if it wasn't for bad jokes, folks, we wouldn't have any. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for attending. And we will be seeing you uh, next Friday. Of course, Tuesday we do the videos too. And really important, uh, let's see, announcement that I have, my reminder, which I'm putting right down here. For those of you that are planning on coming to our live six-day training, uh, hypnosis certification training, so to be a practitioner, and it starts the 26th of this month, we have an early bird special going on that ends Monday. Okay, it's ending Monday. So if you want to save a couple hundred dollars on your training, do it this weekend, an early bird special. You could even do it with a small $300 down payment to be able to secure your early bird special and you pay off the rest before the first day of training. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a big class. It'll be a lot of individual training. Raluca and I will both be there training you. And you get individual practice, even in a large group. We break down into small rooms, and we can come and help you and critique you and guide you through it. So be there or be square. And that's coming up on the 26th, and there's a link right below this video taking you to that page, uh, explaining everything that's covered, how to do it. It's going to be a six-day class on weekends. It will be recorded if you can't make every single day. So with that, we are going to let you folks go, and we'll see you all in the next video. Anything else you had for me, Raluca, before I say bye? No, I just want to say thank you all for coming here and being here to, uh, with us today uh, for your questions, and I hope to see you in class. Bye-bye See now. you in the next one. Bye.